Right, so I left you in suspense. We're going to create our logout script now, and then we're going to test if we're allowed access to our user area once we're logged out. The logout script is ridiculously simple. Um, all we all we really need to do is we need to first of all start the session. I mean, we've already started the session in our functions.php page, but for a logout page, we don't really need to include that again because we're connecting to our database and we're setting functions that we don't really need to use. So you're slowing down your scripts for no reason at all. If you don't need to include a full page, you just need to use one command from it. Just simply type it. You don't need to go including pages. You don't need the things. So first we're going to destroy our session. And that's as simple as saying session destroy. You might have known that, you might have not. With unsetting cookies, it's a bit different. Notice I've used the word unset. I haven't actually said destroy because we can't actually destroy a cookie. All we can do is cleverly reverse the process of our cookie already created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say set cookie. You might think that's a bit weird, Set resetting this cookie. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the same name, uh, the same um, uh, element name uh, as before. So that's username. Remember, in login, we used our username here. Instead of now setting it to username, I'm going to set it to, you might have guessed, absolutely nothing. So we're blanking this cookie out. Then what we're doing is we're setting it to the time. But instead of adding on 7,200 seconds, and remember, bear in mind, to unset a cookie, you need it to match this value. But instead of using a plus, what we're going to do is we're going to use a minus. So we're cutting this cookie back um, to a minus amount, and therefore it's automatically destroyed um, and will no longer be valid because it is, in fact, in minus time. You can't set a cookie with a time limit in the, in the past. Okay? So now we're going to just redirect the user out. Um, it's probably just polite to redirect them um, back to um, our login.php page, which is our start page that we've uh, we've become used to. Okay, so let's test this out then. Um, we're logged in at the moment. This page hasn't changed. We haven't edited anything on here. All we're going to do is click log out and we've been redirected back to our login page. Now notice this hasn't redirected us back to our uh, user area script because um, we have in fact um, been logged out um, and now when I try to access um, our user area.php I'm automatically redirected back to login so I don't have any access to that um, again what I can do now is say Alex and 123 is my password click login and I'm logged in um, and then again it's exactly the same process. I can't have access to back to the login.php page. Now, the most important part of this tutorial um, is the fact we need to test out um, our Remember Me um, feature. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pause the video for one second. Uh, okay, so I paused the video for a second, and I've closed off all my browser windows except this one. So this is the only browser window I've got open. Bear in mind, like I said before, when you destroy a session, um, the way to destroy a session is to close all your browser windows, then your session is destroyed. So I'm going to log in as log in with my password, and I'm not going to check Remember Me. So what this does inside our script, if, if uh, Remember Me doesn't equal anything, we'll just be setting a session. Therefore, when I close this window, uh, close my browser altogether, our, we shouldn't be logged in when we come back to it. So if I click log on or log in, we're logged in successfully. Now I'm going to close this. Uh, right, so yeah, I'm going to close this. Um, do you want Firefox to save your tabs? Um, yeah, I might just say save and quit. And then we've got context open here. What I'm going to do is now reopen Firefox and refresh. Oh, I'm still logged in. Okay, let's check um, this again. I'm going to say quit. Log back in or reopen your browser. Um, come to localhost, uh, PHP Academy tutorials, and back to the login page. And funnily enough, although we were logged in before, we now have access to the login page again because we've closed our browser. 
So if I now now try and access user area, I'm no longer allowed. Therefore, by just closing my browser, um, my session um, was terminated. Now I'm going to try logging in. Alex123, and I'm going to check remember me. I'm then going to click login. Our login was successful. We're not allowed to access the login page as we're already logged in. Now, presumably now we're logged in with cookies. Therefore, when I close my browser, and remember our cookie has been set for 48 hours, which is 7,200 seconds. I'm going to open Firefox. I'm going to navigate back to uh, my login page. And I've automatically been re redirected to user area. And that signifies that um, our cookie is still set and I'm still not allowed access to the login.php until I log out. So basically what I've just done now is I have proved that um, by checking remember me we um, are still logged in when we reopen our browser and by not checking remember me we're logged out as soon as we close the browser. And that is the difference, the fundamental difference between sessions and cookies and this um, is really really useful when you're using a remember me um, style login script so that's basically everything I have to share with you and um, we've created a mini login system but incorporated our remember me um, took some security features and put this back into here I know I've had a few comments um, on the YouTube page recent on my YouTube channel recently um, with people saying about security features so I'm going to try and incorporate these more into my videos and help you guys out in that way um, as well as teaching you PHP. Okay, so I hope this tutorial was useful. If you'd like me to expand on it, then just let me know. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube already, um, please hit the yellow subscribe button. It really does help. Um, every subscriber does count. And you'll also be updated with new videos that I create. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and obviously there'll be some more coming soon. So thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.